by order of the Peaky Blinders. Welcome to Beer Club. Time for another episode of Beer Club. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at three more kegs that's available on the Perfect Draft. As you've no doubt gone from the little intro, the first one is going to be uh, Shelby by Thornbridge, Shelby IPA, which is the official beer of the Peaky Blinders TV series. We'll also be looking at a Italian lager called Lisa, and we'll be answering the question, what do you do with a drunken sailor? Why, you drink it, of course, especially if it's from the Crew Republic. I've got this daft outfit on for a reason, so uh, let's have a look and see what we think of Shelby. So, yes, kicking things off with Shelby from Thornbridge. I've been meaning to review this one for a while. In fact, I've mentioned this on previous episodes of, uh, of Beer Club from about a year ago. What's happened here is that I've gotten a keg of this in a few times, and then I've ended up drinking it all before I've been able to film anything for it. Well, that's the excuse I'm going with anyway. So I've become a big fan of Thornbridge, purely from this one beer. Uh, and I've actually gone on to review some of their other kegs on Perfect Draft as well. Jalpa being their most popular and most well-known beer, along with AMPM and many others. So, Shelby, this is the officially licensed beer of the television programme Peaky Blinders. And I've even got a branded glass or two to drink this from. So, uh, in the glass, it's a golden, amber-coloured beer, slightly hazy, with some gentle amounts of carbonation. Um, it really does look amazing in the glass, it, it really does. Uh, you get about two fingers of foamy white head. Uh, on the aroma, you've got the sweet, fruity smells of grapefruit and orange peel. Oh, fantastic. On the taste, it's got more of an old-school, traditional English ale vibe rather than an IPA. It's uh, sweet and lemony and biscuity to begin with, followed by a nice, gentle, citrusy lemon bitterness. It's very drinkable and leaves a very pleasant mouthfeel. It's a good bodied, nicely balanced beer with a creamy finish. And uh, drinking this, I'm reminded exactly why I've uh, gone through a few kegs of this and not got round to reviewing it. it. It does go down very well indeed. And uh, again, it's been brewed by Thornbridge for a TV series and you might be tempted to think, right, okay, so this is a tie in to something. It's a tie into a TV program. How good is this actually going to be? And the answer is, well, actually, very good indeed. They've really put some thought into this beer to make sure that this is something that people will enjoy. Thornbridge have started showing up in the likes of Tesco, Sainsbury's and other popular supermarkets. So getting hold of some Shelby isn't going to be particularly difficult. But I do thoroughly recommend trying it on Perfect Draft as well. It makes for a wonderfully drinkable and balanced IPA, lovely and biscuity and bready. It certainly got my attention. If that was their intention, Thornbridge, to get people's attention, well, it certainly worked for me. And it's got me trying out some of their other beers as a result of this. And you'll probably end up being the same once you've uh, had some of this. Next up, we have an Italian lager, Lisa which is a bit of an odd name for an Italian lager. It's probably the least Italian name for a beer I've ever come across. You've got your obvious ones, like your Peroni and your Bira Moretti, but getting this in sounds like I'm having a conversation with my wife. Yes, her name's Lisa as well. Of course, the name Lisa is actually an abbreviation. It stands for Lager Italiana Simplicimente Atreit. Good God, I've probably butchered the pronunciation of that. Anyway, never mind about what the name is, what's it like? So, we're getting a lovely pour here. Very active in the glass, lots of carbonation going off there. Almost like a, a straw coloured beer in the glass, but it's, it's a little darker than that, a little darker than being straw coloured. It's a nice clear looking beer with a compact creamy white head of foam, about a finger's worth, good lacing on the glass too. 
Straight away you're getting hit with a gorgeous citrusy lemony aroma with a touch of pepper and malt. Again, this is another, like with Shelby, this is a keg that I've had in a few times. Uh, you probably have seen this being mentioned in previous episodes of Beer Club. I definitely referred to it in the uh, December Christmas 2020 episode. And uh, yes, I'm only just getting around to reviewing it. But again, it's one of these kegs I keep getting them in and I thoroughly enjoy them and I end up drinking it all before uh, I get around to filming any footage for it. So yeah, uh, lemon on the taste at its first hit. Uh, there's, there's maltiness in there. It's like a typical uh, lager taste, but it's very drinkable. It's light, it's very crisp, it's very refreshing. We haven't covered many Italian beers here on Beer Club, but um, out of all of them, yeah, this is this is the best one we've, we've covered so far. Uh, the Lisa citrus finish gives it something different. It's got that orange peel in there. It's it's wonderful. It's, it's a wonderfully tasting lager. It's I'd say it's probably similar to Beer Moretti, but it's far better than a Beer Moretti. It, it takes what Beer Moretti has and just ups its game up by so much more. It's it's certainly got a lot more depth to it than, than that. In terms of, of it overall, for me, Italian beers are never gonna be able to compete with your German beers or your uh, Belgian beers, of which I've reviewed here before. I mean, you try and put this up against a, a Spartan or a Lauenbrau, there's, there's no competition. But as an Italian beer, it does do the job very nicely. And again, this is definitely the best Italian beer that we've reviewed on the channel so far. And then finally, ahoy there! What do we do with a drunken sailor? Why, we drink it of course. Last upon this video we have Crew Republic's Drunken Sailor IPA. A, a handcrafted German IPA and yes as mentioned before I do love my German beers here on Beer Club. And you can tell straight away from getting this little beauty pod into the glass that this is a quality product. A slightly hazy, almost golden amber coloured beer with just over a fingertips worth of off-white foam and with plenty of carbonation running throughout the glass. On the aroma you're getting a big hit of caramel and those floral Simco hops. Upon diving in, we're getting a very sweet and very malty taste. It's a medium mouthfeel, uh, quite sweet and creamy, a little bit heavier than what you'd expect an IPA to be. Uh, there's a pleasant bitterness on the back end as well. To say that this has got an ABV of 6.4%, it certainly isn't overpowering. Uh, the alcohol has been hidden very well. Uh, it's very drinkable, it, gl it goes down very well. And I'm very glad that I bought this. Uh, a lot of good things were said about this on this uh, Perfect Draft Facebook group that I'm part of. And uh, getting it in and trying it out for myself, well, it certainly hasn't disappointed. So, that is another three Perfect Draft kegs that we've poured, admired, smelt, tasted, and reviewed. I have another two to get the same treatment, but I'll cover those in a separate video. Yes, I'm still dressed up like this. I may as well make the most of it. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, it's not often I put a suit on and a, and a flat cap and make myself look like a, an absolute pillock. I've never even seen an episode of Peaky Blinders, I'll be honest. I just know this is what the dress up as. So, um, yeah, but still a, a cracking pint is shown there. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like and a comment. Uh, share this video with all your various uh, social media gubbins, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Reddit, etc. Particularly with anything that's got anything to do with, with craft beer, beer in general, perfect draft. Uh, if you uh, have enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this. So yeah, the usual gubbins, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know exactly what you need to do, so please go and do it. And in the meantime, thank you very much for stopping by the Mabba's Tavern. And we'll catch you again very, very soon for another episode of Beer Club. Cheers.